Hello, hello. Time for some more treasure hunting. Welcome back. I'm glad you're joining me. First, I'm going to start with asking you all some questions because there's a few things I'm not sure. This is not from the box, by the way. It's not from the box. But do you all know what these are? I'm sure this is Howlite. Um, there's some beads in the middle, though, that look at the flash on them. They're, they have a really neat flash color. And I guess I'm asking, I'm sure it's a bolo type bracelet. Is there a certain maker to these? I just don't know how to list it, what to do with it. So there's that. And there's another. My little tags are on them. I'll show you my little system that I have if you're interested. Here's the other one. <coughs> Excuse me. There's actually several of them, but I gave them away in different lots that I sold. Um, natural stone. Some more beautiful beads, button closure. Just wanted to know what you think. Yes, it's boho style, but was there a maker for these? Um, what would you call them? Thank you for that. The other question I have is this most sweet necklace. It's so adorable. I found this at an antique shop locally. I bought it, and then I cleaned it. I don't usually clean things, but this was just, it needed it. And I think it took too much off. Can you see that? Does anyone know if there's a way that you can restore the finish? I mean, pearls have just so many different shades and colors that I can't imagine that there would be. But I also can't imagine not being able to enjoy that beautiful necklace. I'd be heartbroken. I am pretty sure it's an older one. The clasp is older. Everything about it tells me that it is. So just thought I would ask what you think about that. Thank you. Thank you. First order up for business. I think we're going to finish this box, I hope, very quickly because I can't wait to get to another one. I have two more boxes. Um, from Shop Goodwill. One is a turquoise color box and the next one is I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to do it. I'm so excited. So I want to finish this up. This is a choker style necklace. As you can see <clears throat> it's full of rhinestones all along except I think I saw that there might have been like a little discoloration. There it is right about there. So I think this beautiful baby's going to go and craft. Maybe someone can use the rhinestones or something. Now these, if you remember from the other videos, I was pulling them out. I think we got one at a time. So now they're together and they are so neat. I love the shape. Hope I can get them on. This is what they look like. Oh boy. Yeah, I better not. So they're on the small side. This is like a gun metal. This is that um, silver tone, but a brushed, really pretty. And this is more of just a pure silver tone. So I love that. And those are $4. We'll get the measuring tape and give you a measure on that. So it looks like two and three quarters on the inside. No wonder I couldn't get them on. They're a bit small, but they're pretty. So, that's those. This I had opened in the box on the second video, I believe, and I wasn't sure of the maker. So it seems that a lot of the things in this box were from Stella and Dot. So it was great to get to know Stella and Dot style and products because I didn't know much about them. So I believe this is a Stella and Dot necklace, a fringe, it's called fringe. There's no hang tag, someone must have taken it off or it just fell off. But um, if you were with me on the other video, I said that there were a bunch of Dot's logo on necklace. And it's right there. I hope that's close enough, I can try to get even closer. 
I'm really impressed with my older iPhone. It's doing a great job. So is that Stella and Dot? I think it is. Would love to know what you have to say, but regardless, it's a beauty. And I'm happy to sell this. It's never been worn. It looks perfect. If someone loves this, five dollars. It's going to have to go in a decent sized box because, you know, it's got to be packed nicely. So, Stella and Dot, it's also a rose tone gold color. And I probably should give a measurement. Oh my gosh, I watched my first, well, I watched all of the videos, but I watched the first one, <laughs> and I say on there, um, I should probably get a measurement of the necklace. Do you need it? <laughs> it's because I really didn't want to do it. So I'm saying on the video, do you need it? Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard at that after. All right, so what am I doing? There's a seven inch drop and there's a little bit of extension left, so maybe, yeah, seven and a half inch drop. <laughs> oh, we'll get it together today. I believe Stella and Dot. Next up is this safety pin with rhinestones. I don't know what these are used for. Maybe people wear it as a necklace pendant. Not sure. But, come on camera, it's in great condition. Come on phone, I was just bragging on you and you're not focusing. Well, you know what it is. It's a safety pin with rhinestones on it. So I'm going to say a dollar. I'm not sure what people do with those, but welcome to it. Next up is this bracelet with the letter A on it. It says on the other side, fifth, like the number five, fifth, um, fifth bond, B-O-N-D. I looked it up, I find nothing of that, so. It does look sterling silver, or at least sterling silver um, plated. So I thought maybe we would do a quick test and see what it comes up as. Pretty sure people use the 18 karat. So let's see how this does. We want it in a place where it's not going to hurt it at all. Okay. Let's see, okay. Yeah, there we go. I don't think so, no. I think it does have some silver qualities because I do see blue. I'm not seeing it 100% blue, so it may be silver plated. And another thing I can do is to look at where I tested it. I don't see any other color underneath. Let's see. Um, maybe I do. Yes, I think it's silver plated. Because it just didn't come up blue, blue, but there was some blue. So if someone's interested in a bracelet with a letter A on it, let's see what it measures. Two and a quarter. I need one of those dainty little um, measure tapes that people use on their videos and they look so sweet pulling out this little tape. I need to get one of those. Hitchhiker is bothering me. Okay. Next is this bracelet. You might have seen it in the other video. The corner of it anyway. We hadn't talked about it. It's a stretch bracelet, a vintage one. And I say that because Usually the vintage stretch is different than the current day. 
So this is what it looks like underneath. The stretch is really, really good. Yellow rhinestones, um, acrylic, sort of that 80s cream color around here, and yellow, orange rhinestones in each corner. Really cute. This is how it would look on. And I guess people still measure these when, even when they're um, stretched, but three inches on a stretch, and I'll say four dollars. Nothing missing. Let's get going so we can get that other box. This is a Leah Sophia bracelet, silver tone. Really nice condition. Very pretty Leah Sophia style. This is what it would look like on. It's got the fold over clasp. Measure is seven and a half, or I like to be safe about that. By the time it's clasped, yes, yeah, seven and a half. Leah Sophia bracelet, four dollars. Make sure it works. Yes, it does. Yep. Leah Sophia. Then we have a costume jewelry type ring. It's very thin. There is like a hole there, and I'm not sure why. It doesn't look like a defect. It's not a signature. You can see through the ring. Let me know if you think that is a defect. It's perfectly round. I can't see the function of it, what it would do to the ring, but what it would do for it. So I'm going to say a dollar. It's really cute looking. And for size, even though it's adjustable, it is an eight and a quarter, and then it can be sized, as you can see. So a dollar. It's flashy. Cutie. We have this pretty, pretty baby in rose gold. Rose gold tone. The fold over clasp. Not seeing a maker. Rhinestones appear to all be there, but let's take a nice close look. Okay, something's happening here that my phone is not wanting to focus. Let's see. Yeah, it's not happy. So this is a bracelet, fold over clasp, and it is in great condition. Let me tilt my phone. Don't see anything missing, but I'm going to take a close look with the loop to make sure. Yeah, nothing missing. And a measurement on this, two and a half. And that, I will say, three dollars. Next up is this. I thought it was so pretty. Really, really just a beautiful roll-on. I think these are called roll-on bracelet. However, where'd it go? There was a part in it that got crushed. Yeah, there it is. Isn't that sad? I can't see any way to fix it because it's actually split right there. So that's going to be a crafty, crafty craft item. This is pretty. Feels like nice quality. It's a bracelet that is on the lariat style for clasp that you can just hole this way and size it for yourself. Silver tone and it has very beautiful rhinestones. Really nice quality. This is one of those items that I wish it had a name on it so I could know but they just don't all still have their name tags on them. Their hang tag. Great quality. Love it. I'm sure it looks beautiful on. And I'll say four on that. Yeah, 
The other things in the box was this pendant. It seems to be a vintage style pendant, um, faux pearl, I would guess, with some rhinestones. I think I'll put that aside. Not sure what I'll do with that. This really stumped me. It says BFJ River Collection 2014. And I found nothing, nothing that said what it was. It's, um, it's not a really tough metal. It's bendable. I don't think it was... Yeah, it's not magnetic. So I thought this could be another one of those that we'll test. Spent a lot of time looking into these items and didn't find a thing on this. Don't think I tried Google Lens search on that though. Maybe that was what I needed to do. Don't think we have sterling. Doesn't look to be blue to me. So, well, at least we know. It's great to have these tools. To know these things so I don't know what to do with the bracelet I don't know um, even what to offer it for so I'm gonna leave this for you guys to comment on and let me know do you know anything about BFJ River I should be in the camera I'm sorry BFJ River collection 2014 Thanks so much for any help with that. We have another wide cuff bracelet. This is gold tone, like a brushed gold tone. I didn't find any marks on it. Let's see, is this gonna... That's what it looks like on. And I'm going to put aside, I don't, I don't love the condition, so I don't want to sell something that's not great, great condition. So I just wanted to show you it was in the box. This was also in the box, a stretch bracelet, not the best condition. We have this bracelet, lariat style. It looks like nuts and bolts. I'm wondering if this might be Stella and Dot. Seems a little like the style. So, not sure what to ask for that because I don't know who it is. Oh, do we have two of these? Yes, we have two of these pins. So, there's another one. I can't remember what I said. Two dollars on it? Yeah. That's two of them. And I think that's about it. Oh, there was this pin that had all these rings on it. Really different. This is the front. No, this is the front. All of these rings, and I thought, well, maybe someone just put all their favorite rings on there. But when I took them off and I looked at them, they do look like they're decorative rings, not something you'd put on your finger. So that was different. Not sure what I would ask for that because I don't know much about it, but different, very different. Like I said, this is an unusual box. These bangles aren't in the greatest shape. And I have to say most things were really in great shape, so I can't complain. This guy is, I think this is the um, J. Crew, J. Crew necklace has all these chains to it. Gunmetal dark color chains. And then it has this larger link antique gold tone chain to it. And it's quite long. I couldn't find one exactly like it at all. But I did find quite a few J. Crew that you know they sell well. They're a good product, so found many that said 15, 20, 25. So let's measure this. Drop of 14 inches. It's 
got J. Crew clasp and the hang tag. Oh, it just has a little issue. It's got to be. No, that's right. Okay. So it's a signed J. Crew. They go for 15 to 25. So I'm going to say $7. This I thought was sweet. This is a coach bracelet. It's signed. But I couldn't find one to be able to price it. Can you see in there where it says coach? Let's try to get it closer. Right there. Yep. It's a silver tone. Adorable bracelet. Opens here. Don't you? Here it goes. And it's just sweet. I'm not a coach um, purse fan or that, so otherwise I would keep it because it is sweet. So I will measure this and offer it to whoever is interested. And I will ask 15 and if someone wants to make another offer, that's fine. But from what the others were going for, I think that would be fair. Two and two and three eighths, I would say, on the measurement. Coach silver tone bracelet, adorbs, just adorbs. Now we have this pile. Remember the tangle pile? So. As I untangle this, if you love to watch tangles, you're welcome to stay. If you don't, just fast forward a little bit because I don't think it'll take that long. Before I do, I did have this pave style heart necklace that is in great condition. All the rhinestones are there. This is what the back looks like. And I'll measure it got a 10 inch drop with the extension and uh, eight and a half without the extension and this sweet thing is just five dollars chain is in great condition there is a pin that says the number two on it so I'm assuming this is another teacher item because we did have a bracelet in the slot that had teacher things on it. So I'm going to say a dollar on the cute little number two pencil teacher pin. And let's see what we've got here. Oh, it looks like two Roadrunner type birds. And some really pretty pretties in here. I see a pretty large rhinestone that's probably another Stella and Dot. You see how much I learned in one day? Love this. There's a lot to learn and there is so much fun researching. So, before I get too proud of myself, let's make sure. Alright, we got this one free. It, um has a lot of wear in the chain so I think that will have to be a craft item oh it looks like an elephant in a very delicate stamped out design very lightweight Sometimes they say that the tangles hold some good things in them because sometimes no one wants to deal with them so they may just say, oh, I can't deal with that. And there might be something valuable in there. But whatever. Yes, we got him free. Okay, let's see what he is. Cute. It's a cutie. 
does have an older clasp. And let's see. Not seeing any marks on it. It's nice and lightweight. There he is, isn't he cute? I love elephants. They're so cute. The baby ones, I can't even, they're just way too cute. There's no marks or anything. Let's see if it magnets. I have to stop sticking my magnet to my camera thing because it's making you wiggle. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess a dollar. If anything, it's a great extra chain or just a sweet thing to wear. So, a dollar. This is about the only color that was in the lot, except for one other bracelet. It really was a metallic lot, like they said it was. There really weren't any beads, any colorful items, and that's okay. Uh, certainly, there's lots of those out there. And that wasn't too bad. And I see a Stella and Dot name. Hmm, I wonder why there are so many Stella and Dot things in this lot. You'd think someone donated them all at once. So, it's a vintage class. I think this just belongs down here. Oh my gosh, this is just like the bigger necklace that I got that I found nothing on. All right, let's see what you're doing. Hmm. So this has to be on there. Well, there's no way to, to clasp it. So put this together and Stella and Dot. I wonder if those are quartz. Let's put it aside and test with the Presidium in just a minute. Let's see what else we've got here. And then we're going to open a brand new box. It will be so exciting. Turquoise color it will be. J. Crew. Such nice jewelry. There are tassels with glass seed beads on them. The color is beautiful, the green, the white, the gold. It's in really great condition. What a lovely chain. Wow. And it is signed. J. Crew. Let's give this a try today. J. Crew, where are you? J. Crew, where are you? Uh, that's hard to do. I had it going the other day, but. Alright, J. Crew. Let's get a measurement and. Has a drop of 14 inches. There is a three inch adjustable, I'm sorry, extender. So the sign J. Crew necklace seed beads, I'm going to say 15. And we're getting down to the wire. Oh, I see a pretty something blue in there. Something pretty, something blue. Recently I was learning about Moon Glow Lucite vintage jewelry, and I am crazy in love with it. It's so pretty. This is making me think of that, but I don't think it is a Moon Glow. Okay. So, like
like I said, you can double tap your screen and fast forward if you don't like tangles, but if you do, then I'm happy to have you hang out. Mm -hmm. Tangle, tangles. Okay, something has to give here. I may have to find some clasps and unclasp them, like this one. And let's see another one. I wonder if you can hear my son in the other room. And here's another clasp I can undo. Oftentimes that will help a lot. Oh yes. Already we're having some success. And here's another one that I need to undo. Okay. Let's see what this pretty baby is. Oh, you're still going to hang on. All right, maybe not you first. Oh, boy. Oh, another class. That's the problem. Okay. Delicate chains pokey sort of pendants are just not a good combination. You end up with tangles on the best of days. Almost there. Uh-oh. That came all the way off. Or maybe it was never on. We do not know yet. Hmm. <clears throat> not seeing another class. Do you see one that's not unbuckled? Okay. Unwrap this. And that's another thing that really tangles are the extenders. When I clasp a necklace, I clasp it all the way at the end of the extender because this little thing will wrap around and it'll tangle all over again. Hmm, I see a little broken sort of piece there. Doesn't even feel like that great of a thing. I'm not going to bother with it. This is a copper color. Something also appears broken. Oh, I hope we didn't untangle just for broken. This also feels and is so worn. So I think we have another yucko. guy. Oh, we didn't unbuckle him. does have an older clasp. It has a chain that's got, can you see the texture on every other link? So that's interesting. Looks like it's been loved. I mean, there's either tarnish because it's silver or it's been loved. So let's try our hitchhiker. Does have a slight magnet. Chain has a magnet. And wow. It's hysterical. It looks like Roadrunners with turquoise color eyes. It's cute. I would think that is the chain because if you tried to get it off, you'd have to undo that. So. I don't know. I like it. Needs a little cleaning. I would say five dollars on that. Or you're welcome to send an offer. Oh, I forgot to say all of that. You may have noticed I changed my name to Blessed Bobbles. I hadn't thought of a YouTube name yet, so I'm going to try that. Tell me what you think. 
Um, yeah, and the email is still going to be Cape Cod eBay Girl at AOL.com. Not at Gmail, but at AOL.com. If you like something, send me an email. Let me know which video it was and the timestamp. And then I will send you an invoice. Make sure you send me an email that is compatible with PayPal because that's how I will invoice you. Um, I opened a new account and they told me that there's, an, there's a system called Zelle. Z like zebra, E-L-L. -L. They said it's really safe to send and receive money and that I could use that as well. So if you know anything about that, if you're comfortable, more comfortable with that, that's okay. Um, otherwise, we'll do PayPal. So this, as I'm looking and talking, is... Oh, I was assuming it was Stella and Dot, but it's an Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor piece, and it looks so Stella Dot. Maybe I just have too much Stella Dot in my mind from this lot. But Okay. It's got three large crystal stones faceted. And the chain is gold tone. And lobster claw clasp. There's a little jewel on the end of the clasp. And an Taylor um, hang tag as well. So, that pretty baby four dollars. Oh, there is a little wear on the chain. You see it right there? Where it would have been towards the back. So, some nice big rhinestones there. This little guy is very shiny. Looks like it's never ever been used or worn. Not seeing any maker's mark. And you see how I clip it way down here? That's so that extender doesn't hang and twist in there again. It's a little star. Not sure it's worth, um, you know, making a sale out of. If you think differently, let me know. Okay, so those go to the side. We don't know what our seahorse came from. I mean, you might. From your point of view, you probably know, but on my end, um, it's just a bunch of stuff. Hey guys, this says 14K. Do you think they threw it in as a little present? Come on, I gotta get this so you can see it. Uh, 14K. All right, it's really tough. This is nighttime, it's not the day, so not as much light. Is that better? Can you see it? So, it says 14K. Well, that's nice. That would be very nice. How about if we give it a test? So I'm going to put the 18K away and get out the 14K solution and give him a little, little, little bit of a It's going to test that way. I think it's older, and sometimes the older ones take a bit. It's not going anywhere. I think it really is 14K. I think there's a little bit of an outer, you know, coating from edge, from, from aging, but. It's certainly definitely 14 karat. Well, that's fun. That's really fun. I'm really excited. I got a little piece of gold. Nice. Nice, nice. Now, let me move some things around so we can do a little bit of testing with the Presidium. Prissy. I call it Prissy. Miss Prissy. Let's let it heat up for a minute. 
while we look at this one last necklace that had the pretty blue beads on it, or bead. All right, well, I can get this little tangle out in the extension part later. Let's see if this says anything on it. Hmm. Not seeing a mark, but look how cute. It's, um, it's a dolphin. Let's see if I can move my light. It is a dolphin on a little, I think it's a glass bead. So that's a cutie. I think I'll hold on to that for my grandson, see if he likes it. Clippy clip it. So it doesn't tangle again. Okay. And maybe I can just see if this is glass right now. We'll see what Miss Pris says. Yep, it goes to glass. Let me should bring it up here for you. hold the pin on the stone and watch where the needle goes. So that is glass, a glass bead. So this, Stella and Dot, I was thinking maybe these are clear quartz. So we're going to watch where this needle goes. And it goes to glass. Okay. We'll try another one. Hmm, that's pretty high up there on the glass. I'm still thinking it could be clear quartz. Hmm, maybe not. They did a great job of making it look like it, though. Really pretty. Okay, Stella and Dot, it's glass. It's nice looking. Very nice. And, by the way, this is in perfect condition. Really not seeing any wear. But I'm not sure about the class situation here. I think I'm going to wait. I don't want to say, you know, here's an item that doesn't work well. Let's see. You've only got this one class. So if I put it on the other one, yeah, I can't see how this can be an extender. I'm going to hold out on that. So that is that. There's a, there was a few cufflinks. Make an offer if you're interested. I don't really know much about those. And yeah, all the watches. Now the other things I wanted to do I thought would be fun is do some more Miss Pris testing. One of the costume jewelry rings is this one. It's got some really pretty red stones. There are there is one missing. It's adjustable on the bottom. Probably made of um, brass. And it is marked Oh gosh, Murma. German? Not German. I don't know. It's I should have cleaned it up, but I didn't realize that it had a name until now, so well let's just do the testing on the stones and see what happens. And this is glass. I mean we know it's glass, but just thought it would be fun to do some testing. So there's that one. And then we have a pair of earrings, stud earrings that were in the lot. And we'll have a test on those. And that's going way up into very high glass, which usually means cubic zirconia. Hmm. Yeah, that's really up there. 
I'm surprised with that. I'll have to see what that means. Tourmaline. Uh, okay. I have a book also that we can look in. And what other things did I have to test? There's another pair of earrings. There's also actually there are several earrings. So there's hoop earrings. Let's just do this and then when I get to the other ones, I'll do it. Some gold hoop earrings. They are a nice weight. My little notes say that the posts magnet, but the earrings don't. And if you need to know. They are about an inch and a quarter, and they're nice. I'd say $2. It's another pair of hoop-type earrings that are more of like an oval, but you can see that. They're gold tone, but a lighter gold tone. This means that they don't magnet, so they're not magnetic, and I'd say they're pierced, of course. Two dollars on those. I also found this pair of earrings and this pendant that match. Right? Those match. I thought that was cute. Earrings did not magnet. The pendant does. And I would love to put a chain on there. Um, I don't have one right here. So if someone wants this set, you're welcome to it for $3. Put a chain on it. There is a rhinestone in the middle of each flower. That's very sweet. And where are those fun earrings that I wanted to test? This is another cute pair. They're frogs on a lily pad. I couldn't find any like them. They are enamel. The frog is just silver tone. The detail is very sweet. I can't believe since I said my phone was doing so well that it's not now. Okay. It's always a lighting issue, isn't it? The better the light, then, then the better the phone can focus. Let's see. If I bring this down. Does that help us? It does. It's always the lighting. Okay. So, frog earrings pierced. Really cute if someone collects frogs or they're into them. Um, these are four. Magnetic. You may remember these from the first video. They look like a real uh, flower that's set in acrylic, I would think. So let's ask Miss Pris what she thinks, if it's glass or acrylic. Looks like it's glass. Yes, it is in glass. If it was acrylic, it wouldn't move at all to glass. So. got a pair of these, so the little plant in the glass earrings, I would say, I don't know much about what these would go for, I'd say three. Pierced earrings. This I thought would be fun to show you, this was in the bag of course, in the box. And it's got some beautiful pink, purple color stones on it. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really pretty. I didn't even clean it yet. It's so pretty. And there was also some earrings, and I thought, ah, oh, that looks just like the earrings on, I mean, the looks just like the stone on that necklace. Maybe it's a set. So... I thought we would have fun testing what these might be. 
So let's have a look. Oh, nice. Well, they're more than glass. They're going up into jadeite and spinel. So I would say these are spinel. Oh, they're pretty. Pink, purpley, more, just, just a really pretty shimmery pink. Now, let's see if they are a match with the necklace. Yay, they're going, it's going right up just like the earrings did to what's probably spinel. Well, that's nice. That's so sweet. Really sweet. There's no mark on the chain. Um, I would say it's gold plated. I don't want to scratch it or test it because there's no mark. It's a lobster claw clasp. It's in great condition. Necklace and earring set. Oh, I was going to also show this book that I got. Now, this is so funny because I heard about the Presidium Gem Tester, and I heard about this book that you can buy. I think there's a girl named Kristen that does some great videos, and she was doing a video on Presidium and on this book. She did a great job. So I ordered the book, and I get it, and it's tiny. It's this big. And I'm already having seeing issues with this cloud thing in my eye. So I get the book, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to need the loop for the book, too. Oh, it was too late. I already ordered it, so we're going to struggle along with this until I can get a bigger one. But anyway, I looked up Spinel, and it does say red, orange, yellow, brown, blue, violet, purple, green, black. So there would be our violet, purple colors for Spinel. And Miss Prissy tested them to be in the Spinel area, so I think they are. I think it's a beautiful set, and I would say 20. Would someone like those spinels? Oh, and there's something, there's little stones in between. I'm not sure if I can get way down in there, but let's try that. I forgot about that. Hmm. See my pen? The little tip of it is not that long. So it's not, oh, there it goes. Looks like the smaller rhinestones are, maybe they're cubic zirconia because they're testing up there. Whoops, it slips off too. Yeah, they're going higher than glass. Well, that's all the better. So it's really pretty, $20 for that set if someone likes that. I think that might be it. Oh, I found these Patricia Nash earrings. They are antiqued gold twisted rope style. A lot of times you can't be sure that the card that the earrings are on is really the card that they came on, but in this case it does say twisted rope antique gold. So I think it is the card that they came on, and I did look these up and I found them right away. They sold for twelve dollars, um, so I would ask seven. Patricia Nash, and I think that's about it. I think what I'll do is get the other box out, and we will slice it open and see what we got. These are some of the necklaces that we looked at together, but I didn't price them because I wasn't sure what they were. But this is actually a Stella and Dot, and it's called Somerville. They sold for $28 to $40. So I would like to give a measurement for you and offer it if you'd like it. Seven and a half inch drop with the extender eight and a quarter. And I would say $12 on this. Isn't that pretty? I'm pretty sure I showed this on the necklace bust on the last video. 
but I thought that was stunning and it has the Rolo clasp and the two <coughs> large, excuse me, two larger spring ring and Stella and Dot signature. And another Stella and Dot Druzy style with all these different silver, gunmetal, and gold tone beads. That's a long necklace and has the signature there, still in dot. Lobster clasp. This druzy part moves around, so we'll center it there, give a measurement. But yes, it's a long necklace. 14 drop with another two inch extender. Druzy style, and I would say 10 on this. This was probably the prettiest piece, I think, in the whole lot, aside from those pink gemstones we just looked at. This is so pretty to me. Stella and Dot that we looked at before, and I said I wasn't sure I had to look into it. Well, I looked into it. I looked into all of them. Uh, quite a bit. And this I couldn't find. I think I found only one other time. I didn't see this a whole lot. Maybe you will find them a lot, but I didn't. But this almost looks like the mesh metal vintage style chain. The finish on it is really great. Rhinestones are lovely. It's just a great condition. I just feel so good about selling something in such beautiful condition. I mean, wow. The weight is lovely. So this, couldn't find a lot of prices, but I would say 15 would be really fair. You can always look below for my email information, but it's Cape Cod eBay girl at AOL.com. And give me the timestamp on the video and what you like, and I will send you an invoice if it's still available. And I'll also try to keep um, an updated list of what has already sold in the comments below. Now, this was the big mystery. I think we looked at this in the first video. It's gorgeous. I looked and I looked and I think it may be a Stella and Dot piece, but I can't say that for sure. <coughs> Someone else did have one listed on Etsy, I think. Um, and I think they just described it. They didn't know who the maker was either. It takes a bit unless I hold it up to um, show you, but Again, these stones are cold to the touch. We could heat up Miss Prissy and see what she says. They also have a really peachy color rhinestone right there. It's just a beautiful piece. Can't find a maker. Let's just test the stones. And if someone's interested, they can... Um, they can email me. So let's see what this says. Oh, it's still heating up. Okay. As it's heating, I looked uh, it over very well. Um, that's how the back looks. All the peachy rhinestones are there. It's in great condition. The three chains come to one chain with the lobster claw, and then it has the extender. Oh, I think we're ready. Okay. Let's see if it's quartz or glass or not at all. Hmm, a little bit to the glass. Let's try the rhinestone. Oh, those are glass. Oh, I guess someone did a great job making glass look like quartz. 
a great job. So what do you think? 15? It's a lot of necklace. It's very pretty. Lots going on and really nice weight. I'd say 15. See if someone loves it. And I will see you back with the new box.